You know, I have never heard William as outspoken as the speech that you're uh, about to hear. Prince William delivering a blistering assessment of social media, even questioning today's polarised politics. As a new father to George, Charlotte and Louis, William launched a campaign against cyberbullying a year ago. You know, this anonymity, as you're saying, is really, really dangerous. After meeting with young people at a BBC event, William claimed in a speech that social media companies have been too proud to listen. I had doubts being cast about the scale of the problem. I was told that companies were already doing plenty and just needed more credit for it. I saw denials about the age of the young children who were using some of our most popular platforms. The new generation of royals, including Kate and Meghan, have been taking an increasingly high profile, speaking out on issues. But this was something different. William's speech, while mentioning no names, was a thinly veiled critique of social media leaders like Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg. The journey from inventors in the student dormitory to the leaders of some of the most valuable companies on earth has been so fast that they may struggle to understand that their incentives have changed. The noise of shareholders, bottom lines and profits is distracting them from the values that made them so successful in the first place. The tech industry has been mired in a string of scandals. Twitter, Facebook, Google, criticised by lawmakers over Russian meddling in the election and fake news. Prince William suggesting they're not listening. I'm very concerned, though, that on every challenge they face, fake news, extremism, polarisation, hate speech, trolling, mental health, privacy and bullying, our tech leaders seem to be on the back foot. William, ending with a plea. You can reject the false choice of profits over values. You can choose to do good and be successful. You can work in the interests of the children and parents who use your products and still make your shareholders happy. We not only want you to succeed, we need you to. Thank you. We need you to succeed. It is uh, stunning just when companies like Facebook are facing so much scrutiny to see the royals effectively piling on, guys. You know, and there is another talking point here. Uh, some folks won't like hearing me say it, but there will be people who will say these royals, uh, they're not elected. They're not politicians. Should they really be weighing in on, on political issues like this or even questioning the way U.S. companies uh, commercial, commercially operate? So ha there will be two sides to this argument, but amazing to hear uh, Prince William talking like that. It's undeniable the royals have quite the megaphone, though. So, uh, Keir, thank you.